All right, guys, the VTEC solenoid is on and clean. My brand new distributor is on. This is from, I believe it's called API Electronics. They told me it has bearings from Japan. So it's supposed to be their highest quality distributor, top quality. I have the power steering pump back on with new OEM hardware and a brand new O-ring in there. The power steering reservoir is drained because I have flushed this out. I need to fill this back up again. I'll do that once I'm about ready to start it. And then I connected the tucked headlight harness, which I have the harness feeding through here to my cruise control. So that is on. Obviously, I already told you the power steering hose is back on. And yeah, I am making progress. Next little projects I need to do is I need to put back on the PCV system. This is kind of like the little OEM catch can. I have a new OEM uh, bolt for that, which is right here. And then a new PCV valve. And uh, OEM PCV valves are by far the highest quality. There it is right there. And new hardware for that and a new hose, I believe, that goes to the back of the block, as you can see. Well, as you probably can't see, but there's a hole right there in the middle of the screen. You can see that is where it goes into. And then I believe the hose hooks up to there. But anyway, so that is another little project, the PCV system. And then obviously I need to do that before I put on the Skunk 2 intake manifold. But another things I need to do is the finish up the fuse box and put it back in the battery tray. The reason why I have all this apart right now is because of this guy right here. I ordered this off of actually, uh, well I found this guy on Instagram and his name is G Development and he makes, you know, this is the positive battery terminal wire right there and he also makes the negative and just uh, you know just some wiring for the four different you know classic Hondas and stuff like that so this right this part right here connects to the fuse box and then this part right here connects to the starter that connection right down there you can't really see but right down there I need to clean that connection up so that's another project is kind of tie up my battery and fuse box ends right there so i have a kind of a bunch of little projects to do and then whenever i finish all the little projects then which all i can think of right now is the pcv and the and the battery and the fuse box and stuff over there after i finish those up then i can finally put in that skunk 2 intake manifold Look at that, see that the bare head right there. Notice that there are no studs. These OEM studs will not allow, you know, there's not enough thread in there to thread on the new intake manifold. So this is what I have right here. This is a Blox Racing, uh, you know, intake manifold stud kit. So there you have your studs, they give you some Little plastic washers there and new nuts so this is for the intake manifold and then I have a skunk 2 header right there going on my Integra and let me find it where is it skunk 2 intake manifold and then this this is an awesome piece right here take a look at this I know it's in a package, but you, you guys will see it once I finish finish up the Integra, but this is Speed Factory Racing. These are titanium hardware, titanium studs, and look at those nuts right there. Man, those are awesome. These are just going to be, oh, and washers. These are going to go right there on the head. As you can see, I do not have exhaust manifold studs either, so very cool piece that is going on the engine as well so yeah that's what i'm looking at you know just a few little projects i also have some oem goodies you know me i have a, a new power steering cap i have a new dipstick you know just various little caps in the engine bay uh hardware here and there i love to whenever i touch anything or work on it i like to replace it with brand new hardware and uh, i always like to go oem unless you know it's discontinued or i can find something that's 
just maybe a little bit better, maybe a little bit more bling bling like this. Like this is some high quality stuff, man. This is awesome. I can't wait to have that. It's gonna look really good on that Skunk 2 Alpha header down there. So also, yeah, as you can see, I have the front bumper off and the fenders. Those are just chilling there for a little bit because as I said earlier, I did do the headlight wiring harness tuck. I haven't cleaned my engine bay since I've done it. So there is some kind of dirt here and there. You know, you can really see right there. So it's not the cleanest, but once I get this more tidied up and kind of closed off, then I will, uh, you know, really clean it up. But anyways, also I ordered brand new spark plugs. As you can see, the 94 through the 99 Integra GSR takes the PFR6G-13. Those are the spark plugs right there. And I'm not sure what the other years take, the 2000, 2001, but, but apparently they have a different uh, part number. So I actually looked on NGK's website and they discontinued that spark plug. So that's, that's a little odd, but I did find a seller on eBay that's can that says they sell those spark plugs so i just ordered it today so i'll see if they actually send me them because i mean i mean i i gotta get them now you know before they before they get all sold out but anyway so i got new spark plugs um i do have my old distributor sitting right here these are oem spark plug wires these are now discontinued but i bought these about four or five years ago and i'm glad i did um, cause these are, you know, OEMs are the best. Let's see, that says 2016 on there actually. So I guess I bought these in 2016. Uh, OEM wires are the best. So if they still made the OEM distributor, I would have gotten with OEM, but I went with the best one I could find. Anyways, guys, that is a quick update. I haven't decided which little project I'm going to go through next, but I'll keep you updated. And, uh, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.